that we saw in uh, game one. Yeah, um, Obzen did come out of what I guess you could call would be the group of death of God yeah. uh, with 25 minutes. Yeah. Um, there was another team in there that I feel could have got through in a lot of other groups. But uh, unfortunately, with those two really strong teams in it, uh, ended up not being here on day two. Yeah, I mean, that's that's just kind of the, the rough luck of the draw. But luckily, the way the tournament was set up with that pool play, everybody got at least three games. So um, it wasn't like a best of three and, you know, you ran into 25 minutes round one and then you were out of the out of the tournament. Um, so luckily, they were able to, to get some games in. And now we see the teams just spreading out here. And Obzen looks like they're heading up uh, towards that red buff side. Pretty concentrated at this point, but really we we should just see a defense for a Mumu, I would imagine. Yeah, the setup here might lead to an invade, but like as you said, but uh, a Mumu really just wants that blue, and uh, they might just play it passively on this one. I don't really. S oh, we do have the one ward down. Uh, just there near the mid for uh, Team Zessie Orange, but I uh, don't think it's going to come into play here. Yeah, I mean, really just throwing it down to get a little bit of extra uh, vision without having to actually plant uh, one of their teammates uh, in a precarious situation, using that free ward uh, to good effectiveness. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they are just going to pick up the blues here. Although positioning's... Oh, no, they're just still protecting that. Like that from Acolytes, just throwing out the harpoon just in case there was a timing coming in, yeah. possibly. Just doesn't, good. Doesn't cost anything yeah. as well. I mean, that's <laughs> that is the fun part about playing Rumble. I'm interested, I'm really actually excited to see his Rumble, see how it goes. Yeah, with uh, with my hand early, kind of injured right now, uh, Rumble works out real well for me. Just smart cast. Press the <laughs> buttons. I can hold the <laughs> mouse button. I don't have to press any mouse buttons. Yeah. I lose some farm because I can't actually click on them, but uh, <laughs> Flame Splitter picks most of it up. Yeah, once you get those first few levels. So, yeah. Uh, oh, Lux going top. All right. I like that better. Mm -hmm. I like That'll that be better. Interesting. That's, that's the correct move here. Yeah. Those, those lanes were not going to be very pretty, and oh, uh, no. these ones look a lot better. Yes, I actually like these these ones a lot better, and Lux has that long range, and she's going to put a lot of harass on, or he, she should be putting a lot of harass onto Acolytes, because you know, that's that 1 to 4 range is the advan is the time when you want to take advantage of Rumble, because he hits 5 and 6, especially when he hits 6, like even your jungle gank might turn into like a, a double kill, so we you got to be, be pretty careful. Yeah, uh, I don't think we're going to see a lot of jungle aggression just based on how the junglers have done these camps here. Although Cho might have saved his smite. Yeah, he did. He, he got a smiteless blue, so he should get his red really quick here. But he's just going to rotate up to the double golems, it looks like. Yeah. yeah. Um, if Lux can sort of... I see them jacking up here, but she can kind of bait him into rumble into pushing it all or being exposed. Like if they wanna, if they wanna try to gank him, he's he's really susceptible to it early. Doesn't have a lot of really good escapes. And it looks like he's being pretty aggressive, landing those harpoons on her. And we see Chogath creeping up towards that brush, so we are gonna see some sort of gank. And this uh, is what we want to see. Top lane. Um, this is really what Zesty Orange needs to happen. You need to get at least some, some harass off here on Rumble before he hits four, and and just becomes that free damage output Un machine. Yeah, unfortunately that lane is pushing though. Yeah. Uh, and Rumble's just gonna just gonna let it happen, and Chogath unfortunately is not gonna be able to really get in, get off a gank unless he wants to keep creeping up. So it looks like he is gonna back off. Yep. So far, I like Zesty Orange. They're they're doing they're doing some right things. At least in this early stage. Yeah, Cali. Cali did start. So Mumu actually the sees this up here, but is he going to engage? He's pretty low, so don't want to lose that. And then it looks like Ari's actually just going to poke uh, to ward him out. So Mumu just playing a little bit of a mobile ward right there uh, for his mid lane, which is, which is good communication. Fortunate for him that they they saw that rotation. Yeah, and the, these lane phases going more along the lines of what I would expect from the players playing bot lane once again. Phoenix already sitting at double CS. Yeah, uh, mechanically just a very strong player. Yeah, and in, in the mid lane, I feel that Zesty Orange was supposed to have the little bit stronger players and in the top lane as well. 
And it looks like with the matchups that they chose themselves, uh, they've opened up a bit of a lead. But if we look at the bot lane, Ezreal's already sitting on the quarter health, chugging all his pots. He's on his last pot right now. Uh, they're going to be in trouble. So Chugath going to come and try and relieve some of the pressure, it looks like. Yeah, and that's that's what you have to do, especially against a new new lane. I mean, dude, he's he's out of health potions now. You've completed that objective. Now any damage you put on him uh, is going to stick. Uh, and it's gonna and if you can get him out of lane early, especially, I mean, it's gonna pay. It's gonna pay for this uh, for what they want to do. Because Phoenix, you know, he wants to get that advantage and snowball it. Uh, and their team is kind of built around that. But now they actually have a really, really good team fight too. Uh, not that they didn't have it before, but I mean, it's not gonna be all about Phoenix. They have a lot of other else that can come into play. Yeah. Uh, and and wreck the day for uh, Zesty Orange. So, and just see how this works out. I hope, hopefully, they can get uh, get an advantage in one of these lanes and. Uh, try to snowball their their own advantage at least this game and then yeah, yeah with these lane matchups uh once we hit six there should be a lot of aggressive or aggression in both the mid lane and in the top lane we'll see Ari, if it comes to fruition yeah are you doing a good job of putting some damage on a collie uh starting to get a little bit low in mana though so we'll see how that pays off hasn't used any of her health potions so far meanwhile a collie still has a fort pot uh in her account so yeah, Might we'll bust that, that out soon. Looks like she's rotating bottom, possibly looking for Phoenix. Has hit that level six, so she can dive on there. But they have a nice little tri brush ward there and back off out of it. See her rotate out, so they know they are safe. And Mumu looks like uh, he's just hanging out. They're getting going some for a creeps. switch here as well. It looks oh, like Rumble's yeah. coming into the mid lane. Yeah, and uh, that's smart. You know, after they backed off, Rumble was pretty safe, pushed up his lane. So it makes sense. And in comes Chogath with a collie. Oh, see if really we can get a kill down here. It. Bottom. Ezreal going real low. He does. Just get the blink away though, gets out safely. But uh, you know he's holding that advantage that Phoenix built early, uh, keeping it to about a 10 to 12 CS lead, um, which you know against against Phoenix is going to be good for him. Uh, they're just going to need some help here so he can go back, get a few items and some pots so he can stay in that lane. Otherwise, the next time they trade like that, he's going to go down. Rumble forces some aggression mid. Stealth has to come up. Yeah, he, he overheated again really, really quickly. But yeah, I mean, this is this is a good matchup for him. Plus, there's uh, it's a short lane, so he's gonna have easy time getting away from this. And uh, it's funny because the rotation happens right when too. It's 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 really really strong for them. Uh, their, their lane presence is going to be really, really good. And now that Ari actually is level 6 too, you know, Lux is going to have a really hard time unless she, she gets lucky or Ari kind of falls asleep to actually catch her and put a lot of damage on her. Well, and a big factor here is both those champs uh, for Obzen have gone back and bought items. And uh, they have, or uh, sorry, Rumble didn't get the chance to go back. But uh, Ari had the chance to go back up top here. So I've, we've got uh, a bunch of slows and snares against the mobility. We'll see if that can be put to use here. Uh, lane is pushing a bit. Lux still hitting. Here we go. I'll ult pop for Ari. Doesn't oh. quite connect with the charm though. Yeah. That minion. Taking one for the team. Yeah. Warden going down by both supports here. Trying to get some good position. It looks like Tark chasing down this Nunu a little bit. Uh, they have a lot of pressure in the top lane. And Acolyte's uh, in good position to respond to anything that goes on here. Uh, and Phoenix versus Ezreal, 1v1 in the bottom lane. Uh, Phoenix is probably going to be uh, liking this matchup. Nice placement of the make it rain to get the slow on the way out. Arcane shifts to stay safe. Yeah, so Ezreal did get a chance to buy some items. A uh, little bit of sustain. Doesn't have any pots though, so hopefully he's going to be able to get enough off that vamp scepter to stay in lane. But we've got just a Oh, good stun was sword. bullet time, but cleanse is out of it. Yeah, cleanse flash gets out of there gonna have to go back here if he stays lane he's just writing his own death sentence a movie we might come in from the back uh, they just cleared the ward at dragon so there's nothing there is Ezreal gonna get a way in time it looks like that he will uh, but we could see some pressure on the tower as well yeah rebel doing a good job uh, with those harpoons landed him pretty pretty well here I uh, get some good harass off onto a Akali, Akali just really trying to farm it up 
uh, as much as she can. She has, actually has 71 CS, so she is doing pretty good. Rumble. Down the, the bottom. Torch, not the best. Oh. Mumu coming in. We had a flash from Nunu. Looks like they're just going to back off. Probably going to take a couple turret shots here as well. A lot of pressure on this bot lane, though. Uh, it's what they want to do. They want to get Phoenix going. Uh, at a 30 CS lead right now, so that's pretty massive at this point in the game, just at 10 minutes. Oh yeah, and it has to be it has to be kind of a little bit wear on their minds too. It's like if you're if you uh, are me 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 at this point, it's like this is kind of this frustrating thing to deal with, and maybe that's part of why they they picked up Nunu Nunu one for a little bit of zone control, but two, it's like he's gonna be able to beef up Mimi a little bit. Um, the fact that he is behind gold, you know that blood boil, that move speed plus the attack speed. You know, it's a little bit over 1,500 gold of, like, basically stab bonuses thrown into a build you can just throw on your AD carry. Uh, and that's going to be really, really good for them to try to deal with the fact that uh, Phoenix is going to be a little bit in ahead. In the mid lane, the charm just missing. Cho'Gath coming in. The snare is going to hit for Lux. Ooh, oh, but a nice, nice juke there with the ult. And actually gonna gets a little bit aggressive. Out. Lands nice the charm. charm Teleport away. coming in. Ooh, more action. A Mumu trying to get in Rumble. on this. Rumble coming in. Throwing There's the, the equalizer. equalizer. Trying to cut off their retreat. Hit. 53 Ari, real deep low. in there. Dodges the light binding. Flash over by Toon Squad. Oh, first this blood is going to Akali. See finally get first blood. Else. Akali going for more on Rumble. Yeah, she 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 has an item for herself. True Shot Barrage coming through. Will it land? Oh, no, it's no. not going to. Oh, that was close. And Akali's still on the hunt right here. I don't think she's going to be actually be able to run down 53, but nice little engagement and seeing actually first blood drawn for Zesty Orange, and that's going to bump up their, their overall team gold uh, and make this an even game. Yeah, I thought Akali was going to rotate over bottom, but then uh, back the bot lane backs off, so she wisely just heads back mid. Uh, puts down a ward as well. They've kept that uh, Wraith area warded for OBS end, so they've been able to see when Amumu's been sneaking in. And uh, it's kept that mid lane, mid lane safe. Oh, Rumble going very aggressive. Is going to be caught by the light binding. Akali going in there. Too Should aggressive for him, possibly. And yeah. there is going to be the wrapped up in Akali starting to roll a little bit. And that's yeah. something that's very, very good for Zesty Orange. Yeah, that's exactly what they were looking for. It didn't look like it was going to come out of those uh, lanes, but they did get the swap early. And it got them a little bit of an advantage. And then uh, we just had kind of a weird skirmish there at the mid where a lot of champions got low, and that's exactly what Akali wants to see. Business as usual in this bottom lane. Exhaust going down on to Phoenix, but bullet time followed up right Ooh. there, and Ezreal gets very, very low. 17, 15 health about. Yeah, <laughs> he was... That was close. Nunu ult is used to clear the creeps. I wonder if they can turn this into a dragon or anything. I mean, it was a little far away. They're yeah. just going to ward it here. Yeah, a uh, lot of members backing, so it could have possibly been a good uh, good move there. We see True Shot Barrage coming down here is actually going to not hit any minions, Yeah, unfortunately for them. Maybe could stop a back, possibly, but or that is going to miss. We see Rumble back up top, Ari in the mid uh, to take on Lux, who is chilling there, last hitting underneath turret. I feel like Team Zesty Orange should try and take advantage of the fact that MF hasn't bought boots. Yeah, I mean, there could uh, be. I mean, once you get rid of that strut, I mean, she's pretty vulnerable. Yeah, I, I, I feel they need to do something about Phoenix, or or we're just gonna end up with a similar situation to last game where, where Phoenix is just pretty much able to do it whatever they want, despite that assassin being on them at all times. Yeah, I mean, they really need to. Again, it's just kind of like they need to stay aggressive and snowball their advantage. Where last time they basically got the snowball and then they just let it melt in their hand, pretty much. So. Papa G actually getting caught out a little bit here. Good placement by Toon Squad to get ahead. He's is going to curse the sad mummy. Is going to be able to catch two members. And now Ezra might be in a little bit of trouble. But Ari backs off out of this. And then we see Akali has actually found herself. Phoenix. Phoenix actually has no mana uh, up here. But this really zoning out. Rumble just checking it with his uh, flame spitter. Yeah. And they probably are going to get this dragon. It'll be interesting. it is just Nunu, so it'll be a good fight anyways. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see because they actually burned a, a few alts in there. And, you know, Curse That's the Set Mummy is down. Bullet Time almost back up. Equalizer up. So still have a lot of good uh, uh, alt presence, but both teams just kind of playing a little bit of footsies here, and they're going to back off out of this. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're just going to back off, and we're going to just hand back to our lanes for a bit here. Yeah, if we look around, you know, besides that bottom lane, pretty much everything even 
uh, at this point. Akali obviously getting pretty beefy, though, uh, with the uh, the 104 CS and two kills. Picking up a Hex Drinker, too. Interesting. Interesting choice there, yeah. for sure. I think it's probably in response to the fact that there's a lot of AP on the board. I mean, even uh, Mummy's going to bring in some AP damage, so... I, I guess that's uh, that's that's why she's rocking that. Yeah, taking a look at the gold between the oh, laners here. Oh, Toon Squad might be in trouble here. Akali's going to go in on him, oh, and this should be a kill. Yeah, really well done there. Um, their warding and their aggression this game is, is starting to pay off. Um, just having that, that Wraith ward has given them a lot of vision. But Akali could be in some trouble here. Eating a bullet time. What should be out of this? True Shot Barrage actually oh. going to cover the escape. The Nicely done. just... Saving, yeah, everybody. Saving there. <laughs> instead of the team, they just kind of walked yeah. away well, together as a group. Yeah, I think they think tanked because they thought that oh, she had, she was probably maybe trying to juke through the brush uh, with her shroud. Yeah, uh, and tried to make that play. I think they all thought at the same time, it's like oh, she has to be here, and instead she just walked out uh, the easy way. Yeah, they might have got a little scared of Ezreal, but they should be right now yeah. with when they have their misfortune with them. I mean, misfortune's up a thousand gold. Yeah, in that lane. I mean, Akali's up 600 as well but uh they definitely had the advantage there and just kind of picked the wrong way so very well done there by akali picking up that kill on amumu and, and getting out a lot of pressure coming down in here they have three members absolute zero is going to go off pink is just going to eat that uh, teleport up front. coming in as well they want to fight this and in comes rubble there's the equalizer not the best of them. One of the hardest to use ultis in the game can be devastating, but there it was a bit of a whiff. Oh. Akali coming in. It's time for Akali to feast. Is she going to be able to get this kill? It looks like uh, Pink is going to fall just barely. Rumble trying to turn this around, but he has overheated, so now he's pretty vulnerable. Akali literally low here trying to get in, and Phoenix low on mana, backing off out of this. Waiting uh, has about a quarter left uh, on, on the bolt time. Wonder if they can turn this into an objective, either a turret or into the dragon. Uh, Ari is making her way down as well now. If they can wave clear and stall this out, they will have uh, mummy alt and um, bullet time. Aggression at the tri bush. They're gonna trade. There, I think they're gonna try and take this dragon here. Uh, I don't. I don't know if that's good for them. Uh, we're gonna have. We're gonna have the AOE alts of doom. Coming here very shortly. Tarek is still back at base, but yeah, they're just gonna back off. That that is probably the smart decision here. They do have to stick around though, because uh, Obzen could easily. Oh, turn they just picked up 53. That was a really good, nice, really nice snare, and really nice ult from Akali just to get on there and burst out. Uh, we're gonna see a trade of turrets here. It looks like bot lane for mid lane, and they might. It's gonna push it, keep pushing a little bit here. It looks like. Yeah, it's gonna be five pushing against three though. Uh, I, I would, I would like to see just a continued push mid there. I don't think they could have stopped them. Oh yeah, I, I think there's no way they stop them. But uh, Ezreal backs off, gets the BF sword. They're still gonna be able to put a lot of damage here. Amumu, Amumu's the only one coming back. They might just be able to pick this up anyways. Yeah, it's gonna be close. I think they're gonna back off. They're, they'll be able to pick that up whenever they want. Oh though. yeah. Uh, we'll see if that uh, gain of map position from taking the mid turret does turn into something oh, else Oh, they're going to catch out Rumble now nice to equalizer. equalizer. That one's good. Bullet, Bullet time, time following good. it up. Oh, and Akali, the combo she is in her shroud, but it's going to be hard to, to survive. Laser going to come in. Oh, it's going to be able really to pick nice up Rumble. Pickup. And now we have Ari on the hunt. Going to be able to pick up another kill. 53 getting that one. And now Lux and Ezreal backing off out of this. And we might see them actually possibly try to go for a dragon, but I think they Lux and Ezreal would do a good job at poking at it. So it could be an interesting objective. Con we got the contest stun right and the charm here. here. Oh, nice. Nicely played, getting Lux pretty low. That should be the dragon, though. Yeah. And she still has uh, we, a, a decent amount of cooldown yeah, left. Yeah, we don't have either ult up from Lux yeah. or Ezreal. This one should be free. Tarek just doing some zoning. And there it is. And that dragon is going to give them the 900 gold lead. Uh, really nice combo of the ultimates there. Rumble got caught and then made the other team pay for it because his team was there to back him up. Yeah, I think they, they maybe could have layered their CC a little bit better in there yeah. to, to stop him. I mean, you could you have a, a lot of potential there to, to, to keep him wrapped up so he can't get the equalizer off. But it wasn't that one. That equalizer was a lot better. Uh, and then, of course, combined with the MFL. I mean, Akali was in her shroud, but took almost her entire life 
just trying to sit in those alts. Yeah. Uh, the, the three alts hit at least three people each. Uh, just really well done. Stacking those ultimates with Obzen. That's what their team is meant to do. And they took advantage of it there, even though they got Brumble got caught out a little bit. So Chogat's just rotating top. He's going to get himself some CS. Actually looking pretty good as far as CS goes. Uh, he's been able to do in lane. Uh, meanwhile, Phoenix, of course, tearing off ahead, but not far behind him on the other team. Akali and Lux uh, still doing a pretty good job uh, farming up for their team. So We do he's have the Gunblade completed. Bullet time just going to clean up the wave bottom. So that's going to be down for a little bit here. Should probably be up by the next fight, though. Although, as I say that, Amumu's rotating bottom and Akali and Lux not far behind. We could see a big fight here. Oh, wow. Wow. This could be... This is going to be interesting. It's a stun onto Nunu. Uh, I think Phoenix is not long for this world now, getting yeah, tracked down 3v1 pretty something. much. He's going to go down, no problem. Oh, and Amumu's basically just kind of set himself... Hung himself out to dry here. Yeah. One okay. more slow. I, I There's the is snowball. Gonna catch up. Yeah, with that red buff as well. It's oh, be rough. on Ari, Ari instead. In. There. Oh, this could, this could be good. Up. We're going to see him possibly pick up the kill. And Tarek's going to be able to wrap that one up. True damage coming through. There's a Kali. Laser's going to be able to, to take that kill. And, oh, wow. Wow, that was a four for one. Really good really big rotation there. Yeah, yeah, I saw Amumu go down and those two following. And they took full advantage. Just losing the support uh, for everybody else except Rumble on Obzen. So Zessi Orange, after losing a team fight a little bit there, pulls it right back on the next engagement. Really nice to see. Yeah, and I, I was going to say I was, I was possibly a little bit worried the fact that Akali had pretty much all the gold for her team, but now Lux picking up two kills as well. Yeah. They're both sitting pretty. Uh, now it's, uh, I'm glad that they've actually evened out the gold on multiple carries as opposed to just having all their eggs in one basket, which would best be Akali, because that leads you into a situation, too, where then you're just like, okay, well, if we can deal with Akali, you know, we get an Oracle, a Pink Ward, whatever we have to do in the next team fight, take her down real quick, uh, then we're golden. Yeah, and uh, so with the big disadvantage that they're going to have with their AD carries, they're going to have to use their mid-game presence here to get a lot of global gold, catch that Ezreal up. I'd really like to see them take that top turret now that they've got the other two outer turrets down. And we do have that really low inner turret in the mid lane as well. If we could just put a five-man stack there, they should be able to get it within one to two waves. And uh, just give Ezreal a little bit of an extra boost so that the trading with MF can happen. Yeah, st Stone Boots MF, basically, at this point. Yeah. Just relying on Strut uh, for her mobility, which, you know, honestly, unless you're going to buy level 2 boots, it's probably not that efficient on her since, the, you know, boots doesn't actually uh, just, you know, the level 1 boots was nerfed and doesn't give you as much uh, move speed anymore. But Yeah, and picking up a Giant's Belt and a Health Crystal, oh, we're probably going to see a Warmoth. They want to go onto a Akali. They actually are yeah. going to Chimer, but she's still inside of her Shroud Rumble, just trying to deal some AoE damage in there. True Shot Barrage, going to be able to follow this up. Wounded Goat running up and juking up and should be safe, but now we have the full five-man team and if that alt lands oh equalizer a little misses. bit early it was a good positioning yeah. but they just were a little bit too far i mean and i, I think you i mean rubble does have a really low cooldown on that also yeah. it's not actually really a big deal no um but i, I think that oh yeah and they're actually still waiting for uh, curse of the sad mummy so yeah um that's that's actually that's actually a pretty good alt you know just you know if it lands great if not then uh you just wait for the cooldowns but their team fight uh, still, still very, very strong. The AOE team teamfight. If Amumu can get in there and get good positioning, and catch a lot of targets, it's it could be lights out for Zesty Orange. So still have to be careful, but they do have the tools this time. They're doing a lot better this game uh, to to try to try to try to win this and make an even match and go to a game three. And they must have not seen MF back off there. If they did, they would have put the three hits they need on that turret to take it down. Uh, but it looks like uh, Kali's going to split off. And they're still going to stay here in the mid lane, but I don't think they're actually going to push it for that turret. I like that move. They should... Uh, Akali should be able to push that in and, and, and probably take this top turret. Yeah, it has, like, no health, so... She just dives in, takes the turret damage, and does it. Now that they see her top, they're being a little bit aggressive, but, of course, the Mumu bringing up the rear, not quite there yet. And but that's, that's going to give him a 1.5k lead, a little bit of an edge here. Akali and Lux doing a, all the work, pretty much. Uh, 
Uh, we do have a big item on Cho'Gath, the Runic Bulwark. That's going to be huge for their team because they got a lot of squishy characters, and, and that tankiness that's just going to be coming out of that, just out of that Cho'Gath is, is going to be really huge for their team. Yeah, and and magic resist uh, is actually going to be key here because there is a lot of magic damage yes. uh, hanging out here for uh, Obzen. So little snare whole just team setting there. up there. There is the bandage toss, and now they're all over to Cho'Gath. He's the tanky one. That's yeah. not the one they Catch want. There's going to be the all. Bolt time's going to come in. Focus on Akali. Akali's going to get in there. Is It ends up inside of the equalizer, yeah, the equalizer but it's able to escape out. Ignite's going to be able to pick it I off. Think yeah, that's so. going to win them the fight. Ezreal's still alive, about to go down to Rumble, though. Lux could be in trouble. The flash was really nice, though. Oh, stun the stun gonna, be good gonna enough, wrap though. this one up. Tarek's gonna go down too. Oh, the heal, but yeah, it's not gonna happen. All right, <laughs> Acolyte's running in there. It's like pats him on the back as he dies. Nunu got work, away, buddy. so it was a four for three. We should see one to two turrets out of this though, because Phoenix is up. Who yep. needs boots? You got damage. You got tankiness. You got a lot of ults ready to just dominate the other team. That happened again. The equalizer was very good. Obviously, yes. the curse of the sad mummy also very good there catching three members the only the only damage source it missed was lux yeah. but uh akali was at half before she started diving onto phoenix and and that was a really a big a big win in that fight um it did only end up being one kill up and one turret so we're we're dead even again pretty much 100 gold difference yeah and pretty good for them especially uh since the we, we do see now, you know, they are down in some team kills, but obviously taking some good objectives. But there's, we saw right there a little bit of the, the, the power of the Obzin lineup, you know, that really, really strong lineup that, you know, when we were coming in this game, we were looking at it and we're going, that's that's really, really scary. But um, obviously I think Zesty Orange, what they did here, uh, really is they, they played to their strengths. I'm sure Wounded Goat, you know, if we, we eventually look after this, is, he's probably has a ton of Akali games and they've got him snowballing. So if he... I think if maybe, um, you know, it's tough because you want to get in there right away in the chaos, but against this AOE team, it might be a situation where um, maybe take a little bit of a different angle possibly to, because I think he's taking too much damage in the week and like too much collateral damage with the rest of his team. And maybe, you know, if he takes a little bit of an approach where he comes in a little bit later, maybe he can dodge a lot of that damage and be a lot more effective because he is pretty stacked up. He's going to be really hard to deal with. Um, and if a lot of those cooldowns get burnt, I think he could be uh, have huge effect in this for his team. Yes. Um, and we kind of see what he's wanting to do through his item choices. With the Hex Drinker, a lot of magic damage coming out. That actually is a pretty good item there. And now picking up a Giant's Belt. So he's kind of realizing he's taking a lot of collateral damage here yeah. and trying to tank up a bit. It's going to lower the damage from their team a bunch. As we see uh, the bottom push here. See if anything is going to come out here. We do have all of those ultimates back up again for Obzen. Yep. Wombo combo online. I, I was a really nice move there by uh, Zessy Orange. She's just running right to the dragon and taking it right out of Obzen's nose. Like they, sh they should add control of that, and that objective got taken away from them. They they came in just about 10 Oh, Equalizer too late. getting thrown down, trying to start off this team fight. A Mumu getting in there as best he can is going to be able to get us all. And there we see it, that nice angle we were talking about earlier from yeah. Akali, trying to get on that back line, is trying to wrap up Phoenix, but Phoenix, Phoenix comes out on top and he's still alive, but laser's going to come through up. and give her some laser surgery. Yeah. How's that eyesight now? Not very good because you were dead, and Mumu actually did some decent amount of damage. People very, very low, but 53 is going to fall too, and, um, and Rumble is going to fall as well, and that is an ace. That was whew. that was a really good team fight. That that equalizer was not was pretty good. It, it hit two members and it, it split the team. But the way they split the team really won them that fight. Lux went off to the left a bit, just behind the wall. Akali went off to the right, dash over the wall onto Phoenix. Phoenix did a really good job taking the Akali down. Had some help from his team, uh, but was really low. Lux was able to finish it up uh, with the final spark. And just a really good team fight. They kept their key members safe. Akali did have to dive in, but got the damage she needed. Uh, she did go down, but their team ended up coming out five for two. And they're looking really good here. Um, team fights are kind of going back and forth. I'm not really sure what's going to happen with this game. I feel like one major fight over Baron, it might be what solves it, which is why I find it really hard 
to see why neither team has a ward on it right now. <laughs> they just want to fight. They just want to throw down the yeah, gauntlet. they really do. They <laughs> just want to fight all day. And in and, and, and this kind of game where I, I feel like, at least for, for both teams, it's about you know the vision and positioning for the team fight, and part of the, part of the way that you set up that positioning is with with the vision that you set up. So I expect these teams to come out with a lot more wards, and maybe even like an oracle might be a good idea, so that you make sure that you just kind of get that vision advantage, and then maybe once they come in, you can try to catch them out and throw the first punch, uh, if you will. And at that point, you know, if you get the right uh, the right setup for Obzen is is ace. You know, it's it's game over. Um, that's the orange still has to work a little bit harder for it, like we saw in that last team fight. But if they have the the right positioning and setup, you know, it can it's possible. Yeah, from that positioning of that fight, I mean, that looked like it was going to be an Obzin win all the way. That's what they wanted. They wanted a compressed fight in the jungle so they could stack those ultimates. But uh, just with the equalizer going down, they might want to hold that just a little bit longer um, in order to just make sure they have people held in place with the Amumu ultimate. Here's of the sad mommy first uh, just to ensure that they are um, uh, having the full damage from that ultimate because uh, I feel the little bit of damage that they are missing from that ultimate while that I felt it was good last fight um, could have turned that fight around the other way completely yeah it looks like we Zesty Orange wants to to, to make this team fight happen get in there taking out some wards pushing them off and we're just going to see some jockeying for position here as the next team fight is going to be pretty decisive for 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 one team or the other. So as we say, nobody has wards on Baron in the next big fight. Here it comes. They get Cho'Gath. This isn't exactly what they want. Equalizer coming down. Ooh. Actually really nicely yes, placed. They get a lot of damage on uh, Lux with the bullet time. Now they're trying to close this out. Absolute zero in the brush. Trying to make something happen. We see a colleague coming in the back, but it's too little, too late. Yeah, She's out of the team fight. fight. Uh oh, actually, now this might be good. Ezreal doing some good work. Phoenix has actually been a little bit distracted here, but now she's left all by herself. Oh, wow. Ari's That's gonna that. go down. Akali's just going to have to back away, though. There's no way she can do anything else. That was a good pickup, but uh, not being in that fight really hurt their team. Uh, we'll see what kind of uh, pressure. It looks like they might just back off, though. Yeah, I mean, oh, wow. I mean, Akali. You know, not quite being there. I think she, if, if she was there a little bit earlier in that and could take some focus away from some of her teammates, might have been really good. But nice execution by Obzin, getting a nice catch there by Amumu uh, and following up really, really well. Yeah, a really tanky Cho'Gath just got obliterated by those ultimates. Uh, and, you know, that's every one of these fights is going differently. Uh, that one, in large part, just to Akali not being there. But... Uh, you know, these these big fights should just be happening. So as soon as that Amumu ultimate's up, there's going to be a fight almost yeah. every time. You know, Obzin's somebody needs this Baron. For it, yeah. So it looks like they're just uh, picking up buffs at this point, um, getting getting set up like you did. Call them before the storm for what should be another uh, climactic finale. But you know, no ace there, and low enough that they couldn't really make a, a big, huge push or advantage. So I guess uh, fortunate for Zesty Orange, they didn't lose anything too big uh, out of that team fight. Yeah. Akali did manage to stay alive and pick up Ari. So that was really nice that she still ended up doing something in that fight, even though she was caught completely out of it. Gonna have a quick dragon pick up. There's not gonna be any Oh, challenge. are they gonna rush to Baron? They Could see that this is Baron, going though. down. They have the pink ward. They are gonna knock out these wards, have that oracles, and now they're gonna be able to start on the Baron and in comes the charge from Obzin. Will they get there in time, though? And, oh, we see Lux with a beautiful delay oh tactics here, my. slowing him down. To damage to get there in time? Oh, this is going to be clutch if that does it. And nice, another nice slow using those cooldowns. They got it. Oh, that was clutch right Are there. We now we're going to have a showdown, though. They, they're kind of, they're in position for it. All the damage. They, so are, I, they can fight they this. They are bunched up, though. And there's a beautiful equalizer. Will, is it going to happen, though? Bullet time coming in. And there we see Akali getting in where she needs to be, tearing down the enemy teammates. Obzin in full route now. Baron buffed up Zesty Orange. It looks like they could close this one out. Yeah, and Phoenix, oh, my gosh. Phoenix got away. So that, that Baron got com tanked completely by Nunu, and he still got a full channel absolute zero. Oh, really wow. good play there from Papa G. That, that whole team fight just went beautifully for them. They're going to get an inhib. Uh, if they can catch MF, this game's going to end. I don't know if they're going to go for it, though. Yeah, I, I mean, Demnus, that, that delay by Lux was so, oh, so beautiful. That, that setup and that teamwork was, 
was pretty amazing. Yeah, they should have been able to get there in time, but Lux with slows with the with the snares was able to just give them the extra five seconds they needed in order to get that Baron before that fight even started. Really well done there, Buzzessi Orange. They're gonna back off. They're gonna put this now 6k advantage they just opened up. And they're gonna start sieging up the other inhibitors here, and they're looking in really good shape. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, this is that stage, the make it or break it stage two, where you just lost a big team fight and Baron, and you know that you're the, the opposing team Zesty Orange is feeling. I mean, they're riding high right now. They have to be uh, after the way that just went. So, um, gotta pull it together, dig deep, uh, and try to stick in, play your game still, because you still have uh, that awesome AOE team comp if you can uh, just wait it out a little bit. And you still have a really beastly AD carry in Phoenix on MF. Yeah. Uh, really big items. Uh, got the Bloodthirster. Has the Black Cleaver. Probably going to go with the Last Whisper, which I'm really happy that Ezreal picked up. Um, kind of weird to not see a whole lot of armor from either of these teams. I guess there is a lot of magic damage coming out. But these AD carries are going to be really important in the fights uh, now that we're approaching 40 minutes. And this is, I mean, the first game, you know, got away from them. They, they, they kind of maybe were a little bit tired, but Zesdior just fully awake now. And I think that I think that, that play to get Baron might be one of the better plays of this entire tournament so far. And now they're going to have to try to press this in, throwing out their poke. They have some decent poke in here, just need to stay a little bit safe not get caught alts all back up uh for obzin so they're ready to to possibly engage this again but i think they'd rather just delay uh to wear that baron out uh as best they can uh and then engage on, on a little bit better turns but kali is just she is so buff right now rabadon's blade zonia's hourglass throwing a hex drinker and so a giant belt for for good measure uh to make her a little bit tankier and you know right now wounded coat i mean He's, he's doing some serious work when he gets in there. Yeah. He he had been tanking up a lot in the mid game, and now he's just got a huge burst of damage. So uh, I think it's I think it's going to be the next fight. If it's not under a turret, and there they go. Uh, they get a free turret down bottom just with the siege up top. I really like this look for Zesty Orange. Keep poking in here. Yeah, I don't know that they're going to be able to push in and take this turret, but just uh, being able to uh, wait it out with the super minions coming in the mid, they will oh. eventually get it. Getting some good damage on there. Shogun I really, I really don't think they want to engage on this turret unless they see somebody pop bottom. They might go right now. Yeah, they just but saw the Rumble wave do is it. a little far, a little bit away, so he Rumble might be able to clear that up. MF's also in the mid. They might even just want to dive it right yeah, here. Yeah, I mean, I, I would think that Cho'Gath could just go in there, yeah. tank it, and they would be able to wrap that and one Nunu's up. And Nunu's quite tanky as well, actually. Yeah. Waited for the creeps. They are going to oh, be able to take it oh, down. Oh, it looks no. like a Mumu's getting set up for an engage. Pop Australia is trying to misses get there. Misses it. the banish shots. They're kind of zoning out anyways. right now. Akali all over Phoenix right now is going to do a lot of damage. Ari trying to come in. This is more damage. Nice laser. Zoning his hourglass to, to get through a lot of that. And now Akali is on the hunt yet this again. Running cleanup. down 53 and is going to be picked up by Ezreal. Arcane shifting over the wall. And I think Zesty Orch is going to take this game. And we are going to go to a, a game three, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very nicely done by Zesty Orange coming back and really doing everything they had to do. I mean, a lot of their decisions were very, very smart. We weren't sure uh, uh, about the picks after they first came out, but they had the lane swap, which is the correct decision. Um, I think banning out Rise definitely benefited them too. 53 didn't have as big of an effect as he had in the last game. And I mean, really, really well done by Zesty.